Hey guys, what's up? It's me, I'm Stricken. And today we're gonna learn how to properly test your car battery or any 12 or six volt battery using a battery load tester that I purchased at Harbor Freight. This was on sale for $19.99, usually it's 35 bucks. So let's open a box and see what we have inside. Inside you have instruction manual and this contraption. What this consists of is two terminals, two battery terminals, a plus and a minus, and you have a gauge. I'm going to zoom down on the gauge and I'll explain everything how it is. Okay, the way to read this gauge is it's two parts, actually three parts. What you have here is the six volt right up top here, the six volt battery test. Below that you see it says 12 volt. It goes all the way out to the bad. The weak is the yellow and the green is the good. Okay, inside the green you will notice you have 1,800, 600, 400, and 200. Those are your cranking amps. Every battery is rated at cranking amps. Past that, down here at the end, you have your charging system diagnosis test. That you attach to the car while it's running with all the appliances going, and it will tell you if your car has a proper charging system, if it's working correctly. That's the second video. You guys can find that on my channel. So for this example, I'm using a 12 volt car battery. So we're gonna use the bottom section here. See where it says 12? We're gonna use that section to judge our battery. So let's hook it up to the battery and see what we get. All right, so now that I zoomed out, we're going to attach our tester to our battery. Positive to positive. Negative to negative. Okay. Now you're going to see immediately that this is a fresh battery. It just got charged, by the way. You're going to see immediately that it is well past the green. As I stated, it's a very freshly charged battery. But on the bottom of the unit, we have this switch here. This will apply the load, and it will tell us exactly where our battery stands under load, because that's really what matters. You can have a car battery that's registering perfectly high, but when a load is applied, it drains immediately. So that's really important. So let's go ahead and flick this switch here on the bottom. And you're only supposed to do it for 10 seconds or more. And you see it's sitting right at the 1,000 cranking amps. So we're going to let go and try that one more time and right at that 1,000 cranking amp. Now you're gonna notice some smoke coming out of this unit. That's normal. That's the heating element inside getting hot. That is the actual load. Heat is the hardest thing to make, so that's why they use the heating element here for your battery to be tested under while on load. So you can see this is a perfectly functioning battery. It is in good condition. It is registering well in the green and even under a load, it's well in the green. And this battery, according to the sticker here on the back, says a thousand cranking amps. So this battery is registering exactly how it's supposed to be, an 850 cold cranking amps. So let's test out a second battery and see what we get. Here's my secondary car battery. I have it inside a black box with a uh, cigarette lighter port that I installed. You guys can see that as well as a DIY project on another video on my channel. Just go ahead and search for it. So let's test this battery out. I'm gonna pop the top off. Inside we have a battery and some wiring. And we're gonna attach our tester. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna go positive to positive, negative to negative. Now I know it's upside down, but it's also registering 13 volts, well past the green. Now let's put it under load and see what it does. Wow, it dropped right to 600. And it went down to 5. So this battery actually is not in that great a shape. Because it's supposed to be 935 cranking amps and 750 cold. So let's try that test one more time. Yeah, this thing just dropped to 400. Yep, so this battery 
is not in the condition it's supposed to be in. Let's make sure we have a good connection. Let's try that test one more time. Okay, well, here we go. We fixed the problem. The connection is what sucked. It's now at about 850 cranking amps. I'm going to spin this around for you guys to see. Okay, so check it out. The connections are still the same. They're onto the actual uh, clips of the battery. A lot stronger than just attaching to the wing nuts and bolt. So we're going to apply the test. And it goes right to 850. Pretty much where it should be at. So that's a good self-test or a tip. Is to make sure that your contact points on the battery are where they're supposed to be. Wing nuts, bolts sometimes might resist the actual current flow and you'll get a bad reading. So if you get a bad reading on a battery you know it's good. You might want to reposition the clips. I have here an old motorcycle battery that came out of a 2006 Yamaha R6. So I want to test this battery out. It hasn't been on a charger for about a month so I want to see what state it's in. Let's check it out. Attach positive to positive. These are crappy terminals, I'll tell you that. Tough to get to. And let's do our reading. We're sitting well above 12. It's at, I want to say about 12.8 volts, which is okay. Now let's test it. I don't expect much from a motorcycle battery. Maybe 200 cranking amps, if that. So let's apply our test. Yep. Wow, we're actually sitting at 400. This battery is actually pretty good condition. Let me try that one more time. Yep, 400. Not bad. Considering this battery was replaced because the owner thought it was in bad condition but what they didn't know is that motorcycles sport bikes especially they don't really recharge the battery there's just not enough current in that stator to recharge the battery you would probably have to ride to Florida and back non-stop to recharge the battery uh, on a sport bike so this concludes the video guys thanks for watching the video thanks for testing the batteries out with me and learning how to use a new tool I hope you comment rate and subscribe and let me know how you have fanned out with this tool if you have one or have used one before. Uh, as I said, I bought it for about 20 bucks, 19.99 on Harbor Freight. It's usually about 35 dollars. You could also attach this tool to the battery on a, directly on a car. It, it's not going to ruin any electronics within the, the computer or anything like that. You can put it on, load test it. I'm going to make another video, and it's going to be how to test the car battery with the car on and to test the charging system. So subscribe to my channel or search because this is obviously you know being watched in the future. So search my channel. I guarantee that video has already been done and posted. Thanks for watching. I'm Stricken out.